hello friends and welcome back to edurify youtube channel i hope you all are doing well so as you can see edurify.com my learning platform is already open on my screen and today we are going to have a quick discussion on the current affairs of 4th july 2022 so without wasting a single minute let's get into the video and have a quick discussion on today's current affairs तो जिसने अभी तक हमारे इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है प्लीज हमारे इस चैनल को भी सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए बेल आइकॉन को हिट कर दीजिए सो दैट फर्दर के हम जितने भी वीडियोस बना रहे हैं उसका नोटिफिकेशन आप तक इसी पहुंच जाए आप आप उसको एक्सेस कर सके सो हैव आई स्टार्ट प्रेजेंटिंग माय करंट अफेयर्स एक्सट्रीमली कुरेटेड विद एडियोरिफाई टीचर्स थैंक यू हियर कम्स द नेशनल न्यूज़ The government gave its approval for the 21st tranche of electoral bonds to be issued and the bond sales in an effort to increase openness. In the category of the 20 large states, Tamil Nadu, with an overall score of 82 out of 100, has performed the best and been ranked first on SFSI 2021-22. While Andhra Pradesh, with an overall score of 26, has been ranked at the bottom 17th place. Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan has inaugurated a cancer diagnostics and research center here which is slated to be the country's first oncology laboratory for comprehensive cancer diagnostic services. Nirmala Sitharaman has inaugurated the National Museum of Customs and GST Dharohar in Goa as part of the Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav iconic week of the Ministry of Finance being celebrated from June 6 to 12. Now comes the international news. The 12th World Trade Organization's ministerial conference opened at WTO headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. During the four-day meeting, member of the trade organization will be hold discussions on such issues as the TRIPS waiver of Co- for COVID-19 vaccines and the pandemic. Ambassador Rabab Fatima, permanent representative of Bangladesh to the United Nations, has been appointed as Under Secretary General of the United Nations. Secretary General Antonio Guterres has announced the appointment of Ambassador Fatima. The United States made history as Ketanji Brown Jackson was sworn in as the first black woman to serve on the Supreme Court. Now comes the business and economy news. RBI increased the individual housing loan limit for cooperative banks. RBI has also permitted the rural cooperative banks for financing residential real estate projects in a bid to support affordable housing and inclusive growth. Fino Payments Bank collaborated with Go Digit for a shop insurance policy. Fino Payments Bank serves as a corporate representative for Go Digit through the partnership small and medium businesses are allowed to take advantage of Digit's my business policy in the case of a catastrophe Now comes the science and technology news Brahmos is a joint venture between India's Defence Research and Development Organisation and Russia's NPO Masinovskaya Beginning with an anti-ship missile, several variants have since been developed. Now comes the miscellaneous news. International Albinism Awareness Day is observed by the United Nations on July 4th every year. The day represents the importance and celebrations of the human right of people with albinism. Maharashtra live updates. IIT Bombay plans mandatory. course on caste awareness floor test on monday it is one of the initiatives taken by the scst cell of the institute with belief that sensitization is a way towards inclusivity so these were the current affairs of 4th july i hope you all must have gone through it with us in case you have missed then there is nothing to worry about you have a learning platform at yourify with you in which you can have the quick revision of current affairs in this current affairs free quiz section where you will be getting the current affairs date wise and month wise so each day current affair you can check your online score so here i am taking one test like this way you can also so get sign in over here and start your preparation with edu